guys welcome back to my channel penny here from being penny b this is actually take two i've just filmed this video and all the way through my dogs were barking i didn't realize how bad it was until i played the video back and um you couldn't even hear me talking because they were so loud i know dogs bark but it was beyond a joke so i've started again this is take two and this is a a Taimu haul again I'm addicted um yeah Taimu is an online um selling platform they sell everything from clothing shoes makeup accessories jewelry um wigs bags they do men's kids babies animals they do outdoor they do garden they do car household they do everything on there and it is cheap guys very very cheap um, and quick it takes about two weeks for things to come so without further ado i'm gonna get on with it it's um, still warm here still very warm but today we do have a bit of breeze and i did feel while i was recording the first time a few spits and spots of rain and i did hear thunder rumbling in the background so i'm gonna try and get it in before the weather turns i'm literally sat under some bright blue sky at the moment but that way it looks very ominous so i'm going to do my best i'm going to try and film all of it before it alters so the first thing is stuck in the bag i have opened the bag um, obviously because i filmed this is my second second go so when um, things are not as tidy as they were when they first came but yeah let's just, just pretend that they haven't been opened guys let's just pretend so the first thing are these car seats they're literally just the seat pads the bits you sit on now you know the story of the car Howard's car caught flames and it was a write-off. He's not since been able to get another car because the insurance didn't pay out as much. So um, we have been using just my car. And since using my car, it's um, not been looked after because Howard, um, he treats everything the same. He doesn't look after anything, guys. Uh, my car is now a skip on wheels. My seats are all stained. Prior to him using it, it was uh, pristine. It's like a new car. It was lovely. I looked after it. It always kept clean. It always smelt nice. But since he's had it, um, it's stained. It's dirty. It hasn't been washed. So I refuse to do it because although it's my car, it's not me that's made the mess. So my state, my states, my seats now are looking pretty bad so I've bought myself some seat covers they've got a little flappy bit there at the front so while you've got that on the seat that bit flaps down behind your legs and uh, yeah it's big enough to store some sunglasses or your phone or a bit of change your keys anything that you want tucked out of the way and um, yeah I just thought that was a really good idea so there they are, they're like um, a velvety, a velo, the little button design, they're not real buttons, they're just sewn in, it's just the, the design, but I think they look really nice. My car seats are black anyway, they're black and grey, but yeah, I haven't got anything for the back. The backs of the seats are fine. It's just where he's spilt milkshake, he's spilt coffee, he's spilt chocolate and it's gone into the seats. It's like having a grown toddler, honestly. He wrecks everything. So yeah, that's why I've had to buy them. And they come with these fittings, little discs. So you place the seat pads on, you basically thread the elastics through and uh, secure them with those. So yeah, that's those. Really, he should have bought those for me because it's him that's ruined my gut. Closing items, but I'll show you those last. Let's have a look in here. So, got myself a little perfume atomizer. 
I bought three. I bought a blue one for my youngest daughter, a bright fuchsia pink for my eldest daughter, and this little, like a brush satin pink for me. So there it is. It's just this little tiny, I'm not even sure how you, all ah, right, okay, so that's the bottle. And there's a little hole in the bottom there. And I'm assuming you just pump it up and down on your perfume bottle to fill it. And um, yeah, you've got your own little tiny perfume bottle to carry with you instead of carrying the big bulky one that would probably be heavy. So yeah, I'm going to give that a go. I had one before and I could never work out how to fill it, but yeah, I think that's how you do it. I picked up two of these. I say picked up. I didn't go to the shop. <laughs> oh, I ordered online, so I chose two of these. They're basically these little cup holders and you would put your, um, your coffee or your ice latte or whatever you bought, you would put that in there and attach it with these little clips to your car vent. So you're driving along and um, yeah, you've got your coffee or whatever drink you prefer in those. So I've got two of those. I thought they were really handy. I do have cup holders, guys, but they're down next to the, um, the handbrake. And it's a bit awkward because you've got to put your hand, well, it would be this hand, wouldn't it? You've got to put your hand down, like, quite a way behind you to lift it up and then you risk spilling it. So they're more for the back seat passengers and there isn't anything in the front. So, yeah, two of those. And I also got two of these. One I opened on the other video, that's the one. So yeah, I've got two of these. And they're more for, um, well, they're also for drinks, but they open. So that would store a can of Coke, a bottle of Coke, because they open to fit whatever width bottle or, or cup you've got or can. So yeah, you, it would sit on the bottom there. Again, it would attach with those into your vent. And um, yeah, there's your there's your cup holder, bottle holder, can holder. I can't remember prices on all these guys, but I know that they were all cheap as chips, very very cheap. Another thing for the car is this little thing. It's got some vent clips with it again. There they are. And it's basically, look at the pattern on it. It's um, basically like a sunglass holder or um, a phone holder or something. And that would just hook over your little, um, little thing on your vent. So I seem to have quite a few holders in this hole for the car <laughs> and my thought being if he has got somewhere to put his drinks rather than between his legs he's not going to spill them hopefully I and mean, he shouldn't be drinking as he's driving anyway but yeah i'm trying to salvage my car <laughs> my god this guys i thought this would be very very handy i know this was two pounds something so i remember thinking how good it was it comes in two parts then you screw that part to that. It's all plastic. It's got a trigger on it. That end attaches to your hose pipe. And I thought I could use it to wash the car. If it's not powerful enough for that, I can use it as a plant sprayer um, or a husband sprayer if he gets on my nerves. <laughs> so it's two pounds something and I thought I'd give it a go. Well, numerous uses actually. I mean, when it's hot, I could spray it on the dogs, plants, all sorts of things. Well, the next couple of things are Chinese medicine, and I suffer 
as you know, with the, well, you might not know if you're new, I suffer with osteoarthritis and um, fibromyalgia. Um, and I get really bad chronic pain with it. Uh, I do have medication, I take medication daily, but I still suffer very, very badly with um, pain. Now, about four years ago, I had an operation on my knees. It was a bilateral arthroscopy with uh, something or other. So basically, they were meant to go in, it was keyhole surgery, go into my knee sockets, wash them all out, take away any debris and repair the meniscus. The cartilage had flipped and um, yeah, it was causing me problems. Not as many problems as the ones I've been left with since the operation. So I woke up from the operation only to be told that they hadn't repaired my cartilage. They had taken it all away. I am left bone on bone. They said I've got severe osteoarthritis and my kneecaps are very thin and very brittle. Basically, if I fall, they shatter, I'm in hospital again. They have said that I will need knee replacements, but after having the surgery that went so badly wrong and being left disabled as I am, I'm not gonna push. I don't want knee replacements unless I absolutely have to. I would rather hobble along in pain because knowing my luck, they will bugger that up as well and um, I'll be left wheelchair bound. So I bought these. Chinese medicine. I got this whole stack of patches. Look how many are there. Loads. Um, I don't know what they're infused with, but it's Chinese. They're meant to be pretty good. They do have quite a strong smell to them. But I can't place it. It's some sort of herbal smell. You peel the backing off and you place that on your knee. I can't really show you because I'm sat too well i can't really no i can't really show you but you place that you have that round rounded bit there under your kneecap and then the patch goes on your lower leg i'm going to try and show you i'm not really explaining this very well am i so like ooh, like that under your knee and um yeah, wear them at night and hopefully I will feel a difference in the pain that I suffer. I do suffer pain 24-7, but during the day I try not to sort of dwell on it, try to get on with things. I mean, I am in agony 24-7. My mobility is shite. Um, I can't walk very far. I can't stand for very long. Um, everything that I used to love doing has now stopped. I can't get down on the floor. Um, even something simple like going to the beach. I can't get down on the sand. I can't go for a picnic because I can't get down on the grass. Um, so many things, I just cannot get down. Uh, yeah, I'm just in a lot of pain all the time. And I just thought I'd give something a go. So I will wear them at night because at night my restless legs kick in as well. So I got that as well. I got restless legs. The pain seems to be worse during the night. It wakes me up. Well, if I get to sleep anyway, <laughs> because of the pain. But I thought I'd give them a go. And I'll report back to you after I've used them a couple of times. Let you know if they're any good. And I've also got these. They're the lumbar vertebra plasters that you place on the small of your back. So you get 12 in a pack. They smell the same. So basically you peel the plaster off there and stick them, I'm presuming that way, on your spine. What have they got in them? Let's have a look. So pregnant women, infants, breastfeeding, and anyone allergic to the product cannot use them. Um, don't use with allergies or skin damage. Um, it tells you if you appear red or itchy. Stop using them. Um, it doesn't say what's in them. What's it? Oh, there we go. 
it's got wormwood. Uh, that's the only thing I can actually read. Garden balsam. Oh, I can't read the rest. It's very small writing. And yeah, just open the package, remove the backing paper and apply to the lumbar region or whatever the pain is. And you can leave it on for 10 to 20 hours. That's good. I was just thinking putting it on at night, but yeah, I am in pain currently. So when I finish this video, I am going to put one on and leave it on and see if it helps at all. So I've got two packs of those. There's 12 in each packet. And I've also got a pack of these little, basically they're little round plasters, but they've got something in them. And they smell the same. <laughs> They smell, actually, mentally. They are travel sickness patches. They're little wrong things. So yeah, travel sickness patches. In the summer, when it's hot, I do tend to feel a bit nauseous in the car. So I thought I would give them a go as well. What else have I got? Let's get all these bits and bobs out. There's quite a lot in here, guys. So they are all little things. I'm going to put my foot on the bag to stop it blowing away because the wind's picking it. But I've got a lot of bra products. <laughs> oh my God, that sounds so funny. So, yeah, I do have a lot of bra products. So I've got a black and a white one of these. And these are to make your bra lower sort of down your back so you can like crisscross it they've just got a hook that side and eye that side you can adjust it and you can pull it off there um you would attach one side to one side your bra the other side to the other side and adjust it as you see fit as i as you can see it's super stretchy and it will give you um you'll be able to wear your bra low back you can wear low back dresses cross back things so you don't have to go out and buy lots of different bras for lots of different outfits you can do it all with these products these i've got three a white a beige and a black they are for pulling your bra in and giving you a racer back option so you basically you can pull your straps in at the back I can't do it because I can't really reach <laughs> fibro issues and um, yeah it'll give you racer back or it'll pull your bra if you pull it that way I'm assuming I don't know it'll do something to your bra anyway I haven't tried them <laughs> then I've got a wide pack of extenders black beige and cream do you remember I bought the viral TikTok bodysuit and I said when I went blue, I was in a viral mess trying to get it refastened again? I did say that in future I'm going to wear it or pull it down over my shoulders and pull it down when I want a loo. But I'm hoping with these it'll extend it a little bit and I'll be able to reach <laughs> to do it back up again. So that's what they are for. And then I've got two packs, white, beige and black again, of... Um, bra extenders so got two of those they are two hook design and it'll just make your bra a little bit wider on the back so yeah they'll come in very handy and this thing guys is for I suffer terribly with um, my bra's falling off my shoulder like that it drives me insane. So with these, they're silicone. You would sit that on your shoulder, like so, and then you would put your bra strap in the little pocket, like so. Pop it up on your shoulder, and that will keep your bra there, because it won't slip. It's silicone, and it's it'll stop your bra I mean, I'm giving you a good old tug there. 
stop your bra slipping off your shoulder. I brought it in white to try and I'm going to give it a go, leave it on a couple of hours, see how I get on. And if I like it, I'm going to go on and get a black set because they will be a lifesaver. Life changer, I should say, because I hate it. It's awful. Walking along and my bra just flops down constantly. Then I've got a couple of, oh, I've got this, which is a, a gimmick, I think. I suffer with headaches. I bought this thing. It's meant to fit in by there. That is meant to be an acupressure point. And you're meant to put it on there and those points there, if you stimulate them, I don't see how it's going to stay on. As I said, it'll probably be a gimmick. I don't know. But if you stimulate those points there, apparently they will cure a headache. I'll give that a go. And I've got some jewellery. We've got this beautiful pearl necklace with an orb on it. Looks very Vivian Westwood, doesn't it? It's got an extender, beautiful curls. Put my necklace out of the way. How pretty is that? Liking that. These lovely little bracelets. There's four in a packet got little gold love hearts on them. Got a lovely coral, jadey turquoise, a white and a gold. They will go with any outfit. I mean, I'm not a gold person really. I do wear it sometimes, but the other colours I absolutely adore. And they're elasticated. So yeah, they will fit anybody. They're lovely. And these two necklaces, guys, <laughs> can't believe it. They were only for £1.34. My daughter has got this one, a real one, Tiffany. <laughs> she has got the real one with the two love hearts. I don't know if you can see, but it is engraved as well. No, it's not. I haven't turned it over. It is engraved on the other side of the love heart. And it's got a lovely little silver chain with a lobster claw clasp and an extender. I don't know what it says. I can't actually read it. It's very, very tiny, but it's on the same design as Tiffany. £1.34, no one would know. You would obviously, but no one would know that it wasn't real. I think it's gorgeous. And I've got the pink one as well, guys. Exactly the same, but pink, stunning. See the writing? There we go, that's better. It looks exactly like the real thing. So, yeah, I'm sure they were £1.34, I'm sure of it. But I know they were cheap anyway. I've got some clothing items, guys. I've got a jumpsuit and two dresses. They all come in bags, like at the online. Oh, it's navy. That's meant to be black. Actually, I know it's navy because I just filmed <laughs> I just filmed this, didn't I? So <laughs> I know it's navy, but it was meant to be black. I ordered black and they've sent me navy. So I've been back on and ordered the black one, guys. Shh. Along with a floral one and a couple of storage baskets. Don't tell him. <laughs> so, you've got adjustable straps. It's a slightly lower design in the back than the front. The front is like a V-neck. The back is a scoop neck. I wonder if you could wear it the other way around. No, because the adjusters, the, the things would be in the wrong place, wouldn't they? And it's one of those very, very long very, very baggy, a pocket each side. It's just a comfortable jumpsuit, wide legged. You could roll the legs up if you wanted, um, or you could belt it as well. 
um, let me think of how to describe it. It's like, um, you only see on toddlers, like little rompers. <laughs> it's like that, but they are very in at the minute. They're very trendy. You wear a t-shirt underneath. This would look lovely with the, a white t-shirt underneath or a navy and white striped t-shirt underneath um, or a pop of colour. But yeah, absolutely love it. It's gorgeous. There it is. And when I get my other, my black one that I've ordered and the other, the floral one, I will do a little try on of these. They take about two weeks to come. So I will do a little try on to show you what they're like. And I've got two dresses. I've got an orange one. It is super, super, duper soft. I have never felt a dress so soft. Absolutely gorgeous. Very, very vibrant, as you can see. At least I hope it's coming across vibrant on the camera. Adjustable um, straps, which I think is amazing for a dress. Because normally I have to alter them because of my sloopy shoulders. V front and back. There's a frill under the burst. There's another one at the waist and you, as I said you've got your, your two pockets either side and then you've got a further couple of frills you've got one at the hips and then one further oh no one not, not at the hips one at the thigh and one further down sort of mid shin I'm five foot seven and this is floor length on me so if you're taller than me great but if you're shorter than me you're gonna have to get it taken up absolutely beautiful as I, I cannot remember how much it was but i know it was cheap so soft so so soft love it absolutely love it and i know that's going to get a lot of wear as is this yellow one it's exactly the same they are going to wash really well i can just tell I'll have a look at the washing instructions now to tell you if it's machine washable. I hope so, because everything goes in the washing machine. See, my strap's going again on that side, but this one is still holding up. So again, everything exactly the same, only in yellow. Absolutely gorgeous. That is stunning. Cheap as chips and absolutely beautiful. Right, let me have a look if there's a a washing instruction or anything. Ah, there is. So, it's 95% polyester, 5% spandex. I ordered up. I would, re I would reduce. <laughs> I would advise you size up. Um, I'm normally a 2XL, which is an 18 to 20. I've sized up to a 3XL and I'm glad I did. They would have fitted in a 2XL, but the 3XL is a better fit for me. Um, it says wash dark colours separately, made in China. So a 30 degree wash. Do not dry clean and one dot for the iron. So a cool iron. So yeah. Happy days. I mean, I would put it on a cool wash anyway, but yeah, it's so stunning. I just love them both. Absolutely love them. So, that's my tea haul. I hope you liked, I really do. Um, please tell me what your favorite item was at the bottom. Um, yeah, I can't wait for the black jumpsuit to come. I'm getting they sent me navy. Well, I'm not getting it actually, guys. I'm lying there. I wish my black one had come because I wouldn't have had to have gone on and ordered another one. But the navy one is quite nice. I don't really wear navy very much and I do like that. And I can make it work. I think I can make different looks out of it. Um, if you like that sort of style, but you don't like the wide leg, you could put a bit of shearing elastic around the bottom and cuff your ankle so that it would be like a balloon type of effect, you know? Like um, a baggy, I know what I'm trying to say. I don't know if you will, but I hope you get what I mean. Um, yeah, you could do that or keep them wide legs or roll them up. I'm just imagining sort of, I'm not going on holiday, but it'd be nice for strolling along the beach at the water's edge, nice and cool. Do you know what I mean? That kind of vibe. I'd love to be going on holiday, guys. 
I'd love to be going on a day trip, but we don't appear to be going anywhere. Sadly, but never mind. I can dream. If you all go on holiday, I will, uh, I will be there in spirit with you. <laughs> Penny, stop talking shit. <laughs> anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please consider subscribing. As I said, I am at uh, 1,700 or a little over. I want to get to 2,000, guys. That's my goal at the moment. So please give me a, a thumbs up, a like, and hit the subscribe button. It's absolutely free. No obligation. You won't be charged at all. There's no billing or anything like that. It just helps YouTube push my videos out and it'll, it'll help my channel to grow. So please consider doing that for me. I would be eternally grateful. But for now, I'm going to say bye. I'm going to say stay well, stay safe. Look after each other, be kind, and I will see you all soon. Bye, guys. Bye.